It's happening more and more frequently across Canada and around the world. Fires caused by lithium ion batteries. The recent fire raging at the port of Montreal was a reminder that lithium ion fueled fires can become dangerous quickly. The Montreal Fire Department says so far this year, there's been 40 of those fires on the island of Montreal. That's compared to about seven in 2021. Like 90% of them were in people's homes. More and more, it's urban mobility devices, so uh, hoverboards, scooters, e-bikes. I think it's important that people have an understanding for the fact that uh, there is a lot of energy packed into these, uh, into these units. Uh, and you should treat them uh, accordingly. To be clear, experts do say that lithium ion batteries are generally safe as long as there are no defects and as long as they're not mishandled or damaged. So what can you do to reduce your risk? Number one, don't charge devices overnight. Yep, this goes for your phone too. Basically, overcharging your device can cause it to overheat, which could lead to what's called thermal runaway. The thermal runaway is what happens inside the uh, cell or the battery cell itself. One cell is damaged or manufacturing default, and once that is caught, caught fire, it generates enough heat that the next cells uh, consume themselves and just keep going and, until there's none left to burn. Number two, use the right kind of charger, cable, or battery. Not all manufacturers are created equal, and this goes especially for devices like e-scooters and e-bikes. Going for cheaper charging options can lead your device to overcharge and overheat. Chargers may look the same, the plug might fit, but the amperage and the resistors in terms of the internal components of the device can be different. Number three, keep an eye out for damage. Look out for cracks or bulging in your device or the battery itself. If it doesn't look right, it could be dangerous. If you break open a lithium-ion battery, there is a significant risk of uh, uh, a fire. It's not a guarantee, uh, but it is definitely something that, that, you should, uh, that you should worry about. The fire department also says that if one of your devices does catch fire, don't try to put it out yourself. Call 911 instead. These fires can burn much hotter than others and can be especially dangerous to you. And of course, make sure you have a working smoke detector in your home.